guys. All right, well, I'm back out in the shop today, and I'm just doing some linear test. In the last video, we did some bearing pocket tests to make sure that the bearing pockets were symmetrical and the tolerances were good. Now I'm just going to mill a square to check the dimensions and make sure that the X and Y uh, dimensions are accurate. So here we go. Manual tool change macro. Cycle start. haven't got an air hose hooked up yet. I need to get one. See if you can see that. 
1.4005 so that's one thin a half a thousandths in that direction and there we go all right and exactly the same on the y 1.4005 um yeah pretty happy with that not bad tolerances there for a let me see if I can it's hard to do this with just one hand but 1.4005 Alright, so I'm very happy with the, very happy with that. And that is with my backlash turned off. And as you know, when we did the backlash test, I did have a little backlash in the uh, X and the Y and the Z axis. Very, very little, if any, in the X and a little bit in the Y, but um, it's with a half, milling within a half a thousandths on the part so I can't complain about that I think that's pretty good tolerances there for a, a home built CNC mill uh, not using precision ball screws these are just uh, RM2005 uh, pretty o satisfied overall with the performance of the Precision Matthews and now that I know my tolerances are good uh, I can start uh, actually machining some accurate parts uh, don't think that I mentioned this earlier, but I mounted my monitor. I have to be careful not to cover the mic up there. It starts to crackle. I mounted my control box over here on the side of my monitor. And then I have this swivel mount. You can see there. And so I can kind of swing it out wherever I need to, uh, position it. And uh, for now, it's just good just right there. And then I have just my keyboard sitting on top of a tool chest here. But that works out really well so far. I'm going to work on probably a drip rail here. Uh, to kind of funnel the coolant towards the drain but other than that uh, I'm ready to go and start ready uh, to make parts I am limited to only 1800 RPMs well 2000 uh, I'm running still running the stock gearbox this motor is rated at 3425 RPMs uh, however the original motor was only 1725 and the max speed originally was 1700 RPMs so I'm trying to limit it around 2000 just I'm not sure if the gearbox is going to hold up uh, and at least until I get the belt drive so really I'm only running at about half horsepower uh, the feeds on this were 20 inches per minute and I could bump it up but 20 inches is a pretty comfortable um, feed rate at the moment until I really get uh, the belt drive I'm it's no point in doing any kind of hogging test because I'm not actually running the mill at the intended uh, range at the moment so but hey guys uh, pretty happy and satisfied with the accuracy test for the linear movements in the Y and X direction uh, within a half of thousandths. So that wraps up this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching and most importantly, be safe.